Hello, hello, it's Friday, and here on the channel, that means it's Fan Mail Friday! Let's do this, you ready? Go! Ah, Fan Mail Friday, it's the time where we open up the fan mail, and we get some donations to Seattle Children's Hospital. Here's my bucket of stickers, and oh, the thing that holds all the money for Seattle Children's Hospital. Frickin' huge. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now it's time. Well, you know, Fan Mail Friday, it's one of those things where I get some cool fan mail. People send in all sorts of money for Seattle Children's Hospital. And then I give them some wonderful stickers. Wonderful stickers. Um, I know that this is what I used last year, but uh, time being the killing factor, I'm using it again this year. And I had plans to build a new money container, but it might not happen. I don't know, but that doesn't mean I can't use those plans next year. So we're gonna keep that. First though, my wife and I, we stream on the channel now and the streams are usually printer unboxings. We might expand that into model builds, model finishing, fun stuff. We're working out a schedule right now, but those streams are always great. A lot of people throwing in all sorts of really great questions, all sorts of really good conversation. Also this from David Erdahl from the live stream. He said, here's 10 bucks. Can you make sure that goes to Seattle Children's Hospital? Yes, I can, Dan. First, what I wanna get out of the way, let's, let's move some of these things. The fine folks at Snapple sent something my way. So, uh, Snapple is an interesting story. Uh, back when I was a kid and I had my tonsils and my adenoids removed because they went bad. When I was done with the surgery, the only thing I could really drink was kiwi strawberry Snapple. It was wonderful. I loved it. I started to collect Snapple labels. I have this sweet Snapple denim jacket. For Snapple convention, when it, when it was going on, I registered. I was like the 67th person out of the first 100 to register and I got this sweet shirt. I didn't actually get to go though, because I was, I don't know, 12. <laughs> I couldn't afford a plane ticket. Now though, now though, if there was a Snapple convention, I would definitely go. It get, well, it gets cool because uh, I, I posted my jacket and my shirt on Twitter. I took pictures of them and Snapple responded and they loved it. And I told them the story over DM and they said, we're sending you something, Joel. Here it is, this is what Snapple sent. I have no idea what's in here. Let's open up the oven and Caitlin knife. Bring it across the top. There we go. And slice in ways that I don't cut myself. Ooh, we'll set that aside. In fact, I'll close it to make sure I don't injure myself. Let's do that. Do that. <laughs> oh goodness. So inside, look at this. This is Snapple branded. Uh, packing material. That's just, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, right on, oh, right on top. It says, Joel, and in, oh. No. <laughs> no way. Okay, let's, let's, here, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna open this first, but this is, this is probably the best corporate communication I've ever received. This is amazing. Okay. There is a Snapple USB thumb drive. Uh, okay. Wow. And this is like thick paper. This is dear Joel. There are makers. And then there are makers who inspire fellow makers to make you good, sir, are the latter. In fact, your videos inspired us to print an animatronic back scratcher in our break room. Care to try it sometime? Yes, I would love to. We caught wind of your Snapple devotion a while back. Thank you, Twitter and wanted to celebrate your printing wizardry with a custom Snapple bottle holder device thing, officially known as Joel Telling's Snapple bottle holder device thing, in quotes. After printing the three solid pieces, glue the Snapple badge to the cooler, loop a rubber band around the notches, attach the fountain end to create a seal, glue the legs into the cooler, pour water into the small, wait, place, ships, oh, oh, okay, okay. 
This is gonna be cool. We've also sent a few bottles of Snapple's 3D Kiwi Strawberry, which was made exclusively for you. Give it a whirl and let us know what you think. If you have recommendations to improve the bottle holder, please let us know. We will humbly defer to your superior printing judgment. Until then, print passionately. Signed, your friends at Snapple. Okay, my guess is the, the custom, let's see, the Joel Telling Snapple bottle holder device thing with the hyphen between bottle and holder exists on this thumb drive, but this, you guys, this is, look at, oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, and they sent me some uh, Maker Geeks Raptor PLA. That's fantastic, that's amazing. And, oh, some, some Kiwi Strop, the wrapping job on this is, uh, <gasps> no way. No way. Oh, I've, oh my, oh my God, this is amazing. It's got a, it's got a Joel bot on it. And it says high five. And it's got a Joel bot. <laughs> this, no way. No way. Oh, and there's, there's a whole bunch of them. This one, the label's upside down, which is even better. Oh wait, no, it's right side up. There's a right side up. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh man, there's this. <laughs> there's six of them. No, no way. No way. Oh, this is. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. No, six of them. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Oh, and then there's Snapple paper at the bottom. Okay. I, I am floored. This is, this, this is amazing. That's amazing. There are. I, uh, I can't even, wait, let's see. Okay, there we go. Did I arrange that right? This is amazing. This is literally amazing. And um, this is gonna have to get a video because apparently there's a Snapple holder thingy and all the pieces are on here. And this tells me how to get it all put together Oh, and they, okay, they included the Raptor Series PLA because they said this filament is FDA approved, food safe, and dishwasher safe with print temps at 245. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Snapple. Thank you. <laughs> this is amazing. And I... I'm with, uh, this is amazing. Like, literally, this is amazing. I can't, I can't even fathom it. This is perfect. This is perfect. Okay, this is gonna be good. God, you guys are gonna make me cry. Oh. <laughs> perfect. Okay, I'll clear this out and we'll move on uh, to the next packages. Next, let's do, uh, Let's do a letter. This is from a Joshua in Linwood. Oh, <laughs> close to Seattle. Perfect, Joshua. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, Joshua. Let's see what happens. Get out of the, here we go. Oh, we have a self-addressed stamped envelope and we have graph paper. Graph, oh my goodness. And taped is, that's a dollar bill. And each letter is in its own square of the graph paper. Dear Joel, uh, you as a local YouTuber, you inspire me to do better in school. That's fantastic. I hope to meet you in, uh, in person. Please follow me on Instagram. <laughs> okay, there's your Instagram. I might do that. I hope, uh, I hope the money I enclosed is enough to get a sticker 
thanks. And I am 15 year old years old and wondering if any meetups in the future. If there are meetups in the future, I will definitely post about them on Instagram and on Twitter, on Facebook and on YouTube. And I'll make sure everybody knows where we can meet up for a fantastic high five. Um, I was wondering if I could moderate your streams. Uh, I'm... Uh, oh, oh, and I'm in my friend's Discord. Okay. Uh, no, moderators are already chosen. I'm good. But if a moderator spot opens up, I can always seek it out. Just pay attention because if a moderator position were to open up, I will announce it. Uh, P.S. The Hawks rule. The zero symbols are zeros. And, and there's your email. Oh, okay. Okay. And you did... Oh, I tore the dollar. The dollar attached with electrical tape. That will definitely hold the dollar, and apparently it'll rip it. But there we go. We've freed the dollar. Let's get down to business. First things first. All right, Joshua. I do dig your letter. That dollar is definitely enough because, Joshua, you get a sticker. This next package is from... Oh, it's from G-Create. Let's see what they sent along because I didn't... Oh, wait, I did order something. <gasps> okay, this should be cool. So not everybody has access to a giant machine such as a G-Max printer, but G-Create wanted the ability for people to order test models and examples and stuff. And so these are the, these are the example models you can order. And oh, they sent... All... So this is like a, like a G-Create fabric that's all kind of interlocking. That's kind of cool. This is an airless tire. Wow, okay, so it's, it's to prove what prints on their machine. So if you if you're like to do flexibles print on the G-Max, they can send you this and be like, this is what they look like. Or can you print interlocking objects? And G-Create G can be like, yo, this is what they look like. Here's a big, oh, there's the big G with holes for uh, screws and nuts and bolts and things. That's cool. This is a G keychain. Of course, this, oh, this looks to be, I guess this is a carbon fiber part. So let's see, they've got mini airless tire. It's in 85A TPU. Uh, this is, oh, this is carbon fiber PLA right here. This is uh, an ABS injection mold enclosure. This is PLA chain mail. And oh, this is a segmented spiral vase made out of PETG material. Well, that's cool. Um, well, if you're, I mean, obviously G Max printers are big on the channel, and G Create has been there since the be been here since the beginning. Uh, if you're ever interested in anything G Create, just go over to gcreate.com. Uh, talk to Gordon or Anna or anyone there. They're they're good people. Thanks for the box, you guys. Ah, from the top, we have this package. Ooh, by Air Mail, Par Avion, plastic coin, two X stickers, and it has. Uh, oh, enjoy from from Hawk 3D Proto. I love you, Ben. I'm gonna open. I've got a cutting mat, so I'm just gonna slice right across the top because I can. Because I can't. Ooh, that's right. So uh, Ben designed, I think, a new or new to us uh, Hawk 3D Proto Maker Coin, and it's H3DP, and it looks it looks like that. It looks like that. It's pretty cool. And here's some Hawk 3D Proto stickers. Look at that. Oh, I always love those. Thanks, Ben. Got another letter right here. This, let's see. Oh, this is from Chris Young. Chris Young, it says, fan mail package arrived a couple days earlier. Missing this. Oops. So I, I don't know what Chris Young is talking about, but I bet if we open it up, we will find out. Just gonna tear into this, just like that. Okay, we're good. There we go. Oh, <laughs> hi Joel. This is the letter that is a day late for the fan mail package. That was a dollar short. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Um, my memory isn't what it used to be. I don't remember, but I'm gonna trust you remember, and that's the important part. It wasn't until the package had been taped up and shipped out that I found out the donation wasn't included. So better late than never, eh? Thanks again for all your hard work and effort. Your videos are always so much fun to watch. Thank you for all you do for the kids. Chris Young, high five. Oh my goodness. Chris sent a $20 bill. Thanks, Chris. 
You're a good dude. First things first. Now we've got ourselves a big old box from David, from David in Dylan SC. I'm gonna think SC stands for Saturn Ring C. That's my guess. I don't know if this is the top, but it's the part that I'm opening. And that's the most important part. Boy, Evan and Caitlin, your knife cuts like, whoa. Just kinda, Ugh, there we go. Inside we have, oh, a self-addressed stamped envelope. Here we have a letter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what, what? Okay, there's a, I'm sure I'll have to talk about it, but there's kind of a, a swoopy version of me. And here's, um, looks like a desk organizer. That's fun. Dear Joel, once again, I want to applaud your awesomeness, if that's a real word, it is, in producing some of the most entertaining, most in formative 3D printing videos out there. I've been watching your videos for about eight months along with Maker's Muse, Tom Sandlatterer, and Joseph Prusa. I watched a lot of printer reviews before deciding on the Prusa i3 Mark III, which I purchased as a kit and had a lot of fun assembling. It's taken me a while to get everything set up just right to make consistent prints, but I've gotten it done. That's awesome. I've enclosed 10, yes, counted 10 different packages of Haribos for you and your family. As many different packages as I could find, I've also included a package of Swedish fish as this is the candy that started the trend. I love Swedish fish. I love Swedish fish so much. I watched a really great video by Maker's Muse on how to create a Maker coin, and I've included mine in the box. Also included is a custom desk set designed in Fusion 360 and made just for you, and includes everything you need to have an organized desk. <sighs> That's good, because mine's a freaking mess, which you've seen in videos, no doubt. It's all made uh, in Matter Hacker's Blue PLA with 20% infill in the nozzle set to 220. I've also included my entry for your shelf filament hanger contest so that you wouldn't have to print the entry yourself. I didn't need it, and since I was sending you a package anyway, that's perfect. I made certain that you got credit not only for my order from Prusa, but also for my order of eight, yes, eight rolls of filament from Matter Hackers. Of course, one of those was just a reorder of the blue since I actually ended up using it in less, oh, I used the first one less than a month, plus I've just ordered even more. One of the things that I really admire about you is you put so much effort into spending time with your family. A lot of guys today are too busy to spend time with their kids and the kids suffer for it. You deserve a lot of kudos for this, especially involving them with making your videos. Kids love being in the videos and I love having them in the videos. School just started, so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but I think if we schedule it right and we have some pre-planning, I think the kids are gonna be in a bunch more videos. That's the goal. You are a truly stand-up guy. You're also one heck of a nerd, but your fans love you anyway, or in spite of it. Please give a big hug to everyone in the family. Disposit this $20 in the box for the children and continue your awesomeness. But, that's right, but, but, uh, the, uh, forgot the money. And it's from, from David. But wasn't, wasn't, no, that was someone else. Okay. But no, that was the 20, but it was some, someone else. It was just the previous box. Okay. Well, we'll make it work. Okay, wrapping paper, wrapping paper. Here's uh, Haribo peaches, which my wife loves. Haribo bellies, bellies, berries. Haribo twin snakes. Haribo mystery flavors. I don't know, it's like some Harry Potter stuff. <gasps> Haribo frogs, I've never had the frogs before. Haribo dinosaurs, Haribo cola, Haribo gold bears, happy cherries. Star mix. Wow, that's a lot of can. Oh no. Okay, this is yeah. So first, okay. So in this box, this is the spool holder design. Ooh, boy, that's solid right there. Then it attaches like that. I'm gonna go test it out, but I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if it fits. Then I'm gonna say whether it fits or not. I'm gonna be like, <gasps> like a glove. <laughs> oh, there's the Swedish fish. Okay. And, oh. <laughs> yeah, so the desk organizer is down here, but are, so are all of the desk things you would have in an organizer. There's the maker coin. That's a really good maker coin. I like that a lot. Wow, that came out really good. How, wait, but there's a raised part. How did you, was it soluble? Was it, that 
It's not possible. Wait a minute, how'd you? Oh. It's glued, okay. You had me going for a second, I love it. There's a stapler. Here's um, paper clips and more sticky notes. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to put this together, aren't I? The trays say 3DPN, this is fantastic. <laughs> Pens. I keep missing my pens. I keep, can't, I can't find pens. Oh, and there's the scissors. Or is the skizzers as we call them. Here's some tape and a, a 3D printed tape dispenser that says 3D PN on it. That's pretty awesome. This is a staple remover. Okay. Oh, and here's the base. I'm missing. Oh, letter opener slash filament cutter. Oh no, the Haribo's stuck. Okay. I gotta clean up before I... There we go. So... Ha! This is great! Thank you! Oh, before I forget. David, you did send in a self-addressed stamped envelope, and I believe you said the money was in another package. So you, sir, you get stickers. Finally, we do have this box from a Daniel, from a Daniel, Dan's 3D printing. And it does say 3D printing nerd on it. And on the top, it does say this end up, which means this end up. We're gonna open this up, man. This, this is gonna be a good one, I can feel it. Hi, Joel, the 3D printing nerd. It's me. My name is Daniel, and a while back I had been deciding on purchasing a new printer during the CR10 hype. I wasn't convinced on purchasing one until watching your reviews on the CR10. And since I've been watching you for a few years now, I know that your reviews are straightforward and honest. My first printer was a printer about simple metal, and while it worked great, it was a bit on the loud side and only had 6x6x6 six 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 build plate. So I wanted something bigger and possibly quieter. So after watching your conclusion on the CR10, you sold me on purchasing one. I was able to get it at a great price as well at the time, so I couldn't let it down. Once I got my CR10 up and running, I used it to make my Star-Lord costume props. Then after showing off my Infinity Orb prop to my friends and family, it blew up from there and everyone wanted one, hence the Infinity Orb I made for you with my CR10. I bet that's in here. Okay. It does say open here. Well, here, let's, this is it. I want to read the rest, though. Uh... I printed the orb from models I found on Thingiverse, which all credit goes to Tony Youngblood for the orb and the base by Fused Creations for creating these models for everyone to enjoy. I then edited them in Tinkercad to add an LED and the internal wiring to make the stone glow when the orb is plugged into the base. After some light sanding and airbrushing, I then hand painted the details. Wow, since then I've opened a shop using my name as Dan's 3D Printing, making various props, which I'm hoping to slowly grow into something bigger. Big thanks to you and helping me on my decision. Anyway, i really like to say thank you for not only helping me in making a great decision on purchasing my CR10, but for also all the knowledge I've learned and not to mention all the laughter from your funny moments in your videos. I also left a small donation for Seattle Children's Hospital. That's great. That's great, okay. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm hoping you're a Guardians of the Galaxy fan. If not, Riley can enjoy it as a cool night light or just a display piece. I've also Printed and hand-painted a Mr. Poopy butthole for you since I noticed you're a bit of a Rick and Morty fan. <laughs> High five right back at you, your friend. Danny from D3DP. That's cool. The power on the orb, orb, simply plug in the power adapter, the gold circular on the end of the base, in the middle of the base, and you see the coolness growing. Okay, let's let's open it. This is, this is awesome. Wow, and it's wrapped really, really well and packed really, really well. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. That's where. Oh, and the insides go. Oh. Okay. There's a twenty dollar bill here. That's amazing. And there's the power stone, right? Isn't this the power stone? I think. And it's held together with magnets. Oh, that's epic. Oh, that's epic. 
Okay, we gotta plug this in. Everything's wrapped around. Mr. Poopy Butthole. <laughs> it does say 3D printing nerd on the bottom. Oh, I love that show. Oh my goodness, what is this? Open here. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is uh, Star Lord's. Um, oh, and it has 3D printed on the bottom. This is Star Lord's uh, thing that kind of flexes up and then go, and then right, he can. Yeah. I see. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, hold on. There we go. So you do plug this into the base and then <laughs> a little bit of discovery right here and then oh come on I just want to plug it in so it's got a little thing here and then we can plug it in I see it. There's a little glow. There's the glow. Oh, that's cool. Gotta get in the right magnet. Okay, and then you can and then you can pick it up. It's good to go. And then you can put it back down. And it glows. Oh, that is wicked cool. That is wicked cool. So Dan, I wanna say, I mean First, thank you for these wonderful, wonderful gifts. I do love Rick and Morty. The whole family likes Rick and Morty. Uh, this is exquisite. You did a fantastic job with this, my friend. Just utterly fantastic. It's great. And uh, yes, Riley and I both love Guardians of the Galaxy. So we will fight over this, no doubt. But that's a fun little nightlight to have right there. Man, and the gold, the gold paint job on this is phenomenal. So good. Dan, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, there was no, how do I get stickers to you? There's not even a, so everybody, there's no link either. Um, look up Dan's 3D printing. That's what it said, right? Dan's 3D printing. Yep, D3DP. Okay, look it up. I have no links. I have no stickers to give out, but we do have this. A $20 US bill, US $20 bill, I guess that'd be the way to say it. Uh, before I put that in though, these are phenomenal. And uh, just telling me that you were inspired to get your CR-10 by my video and then being able to produce amazing props like this from that, you've got a hand uh, for detail. And it, they look great and I wish you nothing but success, my friend. First things first. All in all, this was a very successful and fun Fan Mail Friday. Thank you for everybody that sent something in. If I peek down here, I still have plenty of boxes to open and let's hope I can make some more time to open some boxes so we can have another Fan Mail Friday next Friday. Beyond that though, these were some amazing things sent in. Candy, desk organizer, it's crazy. The stuff from Dan's 3D printing, that's cr the, the custom 3D Kiwi Strawberry. That blew my mind. Big thanks to Snapple for sending that out and it looks like Thanks to files that are on a USB drive, I have a video to make. As always, I don't require anything to be sent to me, but if you'd like to send something to me to appear on Fan Mail Friday, the link to send packages to is down in the description. But beyond all that, don't forget to hug each other more. I know I say that all the time, right? I send my videos with hug each other more and high five, but I truly mean it. Just don't forget everybody out there is fighting a battle and just be your best version of you. Love you guys, as always. High five.